good afternoon. Here we are going to conduct the experiment of torsion pendulum. The aim of the experiment is to find out the modulus of rigidity of the given material of wire. For that, different materials of wires are provided, like brass, uh, zinc, copper, etc. First, we will suspend that wire in the torsion disk uh, as shown here. Two clamps are provided, one at upper and uh, second and downer. Then the torsion, uh, then there is a ring of non mass. Here the non mass m is equal to 0.28 kg. First, uh, the, the length, length between the two grips are fixed, and then we again measure the length between two grips in order to ensure that the length is measured accurately. Then <coughs> the, uh, the given torsion disk is a slightly twisted and then released from its uh, equilibrium position. After it has attained the equilibrium position, we know that there is no linear or there is no linear or rotational moment in this, but only a twisting, uh, <coughs> twisting uh, displacement happens. At this position, we measure the time period of oscillation for a uh, time period for 20 oscillation by marking a uh, given reference mark on the wall, and we then we note down the time period for 20 oscillation. After measuring the <coughs> this, uh, this uh, oscillation for the torsion disk alone, then we put the ring of non mass on this torsion disk. Then we ensure that the torsion disk and this forms a system, and then we again displace it, and we then we know that uh, then we repeat the same experiment with this system. Here also it is made sure that no linear or any other rotation happens, and only twisting moment happens. We twist it, and here the here is the reference mark. The time period for 20 oscillation is not that. The diameter of torsion disk is measured with the help of a vernier caliper. Okay. After measuring T1 and T2, we go to the formula. Time period of oscillation T is equal to 2 pi root I L divided by C J. What value we have got by measuring is uh, that of time, period, uh, time taken for 20 oscillations uh, and the time taken for one oscillation that is the real time period can be uh, get by dividing this value by 20. That is the real time period. After that <coughs> here I is the moment of inertia. Initially, the moment of inertia is that of torsion disk alone, and then we get the uh, moment of inertia for torsion disk plus that given mass of ring system. Here, L is the length between clamps. C is the modulus of rigidity. and J is the polar moment of inertia of the wire polar moment of inertia of given wire now first we have taken for that of torsion disk alone and then tor torsion, di uh, torsion disk plus ring system here I1 and I2 are the two values we use I1 is that of disk alone and I2 is disk plus ring system and we and the individual time periods T1 and T2 are T1 that of torsion disk alone is 2 pi root I1 L divided by Cj and T2 that is the torsion disk plus ring uh, torsion disk plus ring system 2 pi root I2 L divided by Cj here I1 and I2 are the mass moment of inertia, I1 of that of uh, torsion disk and I2 of that of system. Then we note down the difference that is T2 minus T1, T2, T2 square minus T1 square which is equal to 4 pi square L into I2 minus I1 divided by Cj. Here I2 minus I, I2 and I1 cannot be determined independently. So, but I2 minus I1 we know is that of the mass moment of inertia of the ring above the vertical axis and we know that it is equal to 
m into r1 square plus r2 square divided by 2. Here the j that is polar moment of inertia value will be equal to pi d raised to 4 by 32. Then <coughs> rearranging this equation, we will know the value of c that is c is equal to 4 pi square l into i2 minus i1 divided by t2 square minus t1 square into j. Thus we get the value of c. The experiment is done for three values of the non length and then the average value of C is not down and it is taken for Newton per millimeter square. This table gives an idea about the free length between the grips for different diameter of wire. Uh, for 0 0.5 millimeter to 1 millimeter it is 200 times that of diameter and for uh, different values it is given. For 5 millimeter to 12.5 millimeter diameter of the wire it is 50 times that of length. This is the observation and calculation column for the given uh, torsion pendulum experiment. And here <coughs> diameter of the wire ds is equal uh, in mm is noted first, which is measured by the help of a screw gauge. Then polar moment of inertia of wire j is equal to pi ds square by 32, where d is the value of the <coughs> diameter of the wire. And then m is the mass of the uh, ring, uh, non ring. Then R1 and R2 are the inner and outer radius of the ring whose value we use to get the moment of inertia I2 minus I1 where M into R1 square plus R2 square by 2. And this is the observation table for the experiment. Here first the value of L that is uh, the length between the clamps is noted. Then time for 20 oscillations without weight and time for 20 oscillation with weight is noted for three values of the length of wire. Then T1 and T2 <coughs> seconds are found out and the and then the value of c is found out by the formula which is, uh, which is equal to c is equal to 4 pi square l into i2 minus i1 by t2 square minus t1 square into j and <coughs> the experiment is done for three values of length between the clamps and average value is found out and the average value is uh, put down as the modulus of rigidity in, in newton per millimeter square.